you say you will when you won't. Oh, baby, do, baby, when you don't. Let me know, honey, how love feels. Here's the truth now, is love real? Honey, don't. Morning. It's October the 14th on a Wednesday. And welcome to another episode of Open Air with Tom Remington. And I'm Tom Remington. Glad you could take a minute and uh, join me. Probably as most of you know, uh, you know the, uh, our Congress is working on this health care bill, um, of which nobody has any idea in the world what it's going to be or anything about it. But we seem to have a lot of discussion about it. And... Uh, of course, yesterday the Senate Finance Committee uh, voted 14 to 9 to uh, in approval of what's called the Bacchus Bill, which nobody knows what it is because the Bacchus Bill was voted or was sent up to the Congressional Budget Office, and then I've been told that something like 70 different uh, amendments have been added to that bill. So none of us know what's in it. But anyway, they voted on it, and Olympia Snow, senator from Maine, was the only Republican to vote in favor of the bill. Which, you know, whatever. But some of her comments and things that she made you know, raises a lot of questions, at, at least it does for me, and it should, it should for all, all Americans. And the, the first thing that she said was, um, in response to voting on the bill, she said, well, when history calls, history calls, what does that mean? Um, so I've struggled with this. To, you know, what exactly does that mean? And I, I actually, the most of what I came up with is, is actually quite disturbing because is she implying, is this about Olympia Snow? You know, I, you know, I, I don't, I don't think so, but you have to ask, you know, is, is it like, well, you know, history calls because I'm the only Republican ever to vote on a, you know, for in favor of a Senate, you know, generated health care bill. You know, um, is that what history's calling her to do? Um, or is it that uh, this is the last leg of the total destruction of our capitalist society in America and she wants to be part of history to see our country completely fall to a a socialist Marxist you know completely nationalized uh, country that we live in is that what history is calling her you know it's it's amazing because uh, you know, and I know I'll be taken wrong on this, but you know it doesn't matter. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it anyway. It's a fact that a lot of people voted for Barack Obama because he was black. Okay, now this was white and black, yellow, green, purple. People voted for Barack Obama to be president because he was black. Now I'm not suggesting anything. You know that. Because of that, he won the election, blah, blah, blah. All I'm saying is, um, is that a case of when history calls, history calls? You know, it's like, hey, I want to be, be able to tell my friends and family and my grandchildren that I voted for Barack Obama, who was the first, you know, uh, well, everybody says he's the first black American president that we've ever had, even though he's mixed race. But that's, that's you know, neither here nor there. So is that is that what when history calls history calls means? And you know, and that carried over into the Sonia uh, Sotomayor uh, nomination of her to the U.S. Supreme Court. Um, obviously, in my opinion, she was not the most qualified person for that position. And once again, I heard from a lot of people who supported her because. They wanted to see the first 
woman Hispanic to sit on the U.S. Supreme Court. Is that history calls and therefore history calls? You know, w w what have we become? Is it more important to somehow, you know, manipulate and formulate history than it is to, uh, to do what is the best thing for all citizens of the United States? I'm beginning to wonder. But, you know, uh, Senator Snow also said, she made some kind, and, and I've heard this before, um, that she was only doing her job and that, that she inferred that her job was to go to Washington and pass bills. And you have to, is that her job? Is it? Is that what the people of Maine elected her to do? Just to go to Maine, go to Washington and pass bills for the sake of passing bills? I, I you know, I, if if that's what it is, no wonder we're heading in the wrong direction. You know, we, we we pass a bill just for the sake of, oh, I have to pass a bill. I need my name attached to a bill. I have to pass a bill. That's what we do. So from her perspective, you know, and, and as she has said herself, you know, we have, to, we have to approach this from a bipartisan position in order to pass bills. You know, and what I'm saying is, no, we pass bills because our elected officials believe that it's the, in the best interest of Americans. Isn't it? Isn't that, isn't that the way that it's set up? Or, or no, we just, we, just, we just cast aside um, our own, uh, you know, uh, convictions, our own political convictions, our own uh, political ideologue, and compromise and be bipartisan so we can pass bills. Well, evidently, you know, that, that's what we do. And where has that gotten us? Huh? Where ha I mean, that's fine if you're a progressive and you just want to see everything change in a hurry, you know, from what it is. But that doesn't cut it for me. But here's the other thing, and I'm, I'm just checking my time here because I don't want to run over my time. Uh, uh, Senator Snow also quoted Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, which was a fe uh, you know a, a Mainer, so I guess that somehow gives her privilege to to quote Wad uh, Longfellow. And, and here's what she quoted from Longfellow, and I'm going to read this. So excuse me. Um, great is the art of the beginning, but greater is the art of the ending. Well. I hate to burst Senator S uh, Snow's bubble, but this health care issue, which, from what I understand from the financial experts, involves um, a total amount of money that equals one-sixth of our entire um, economy of this country. And we're also talking about me uh, having to cough up several thousand dollars a year more because my government is going to make me buy health insurance um, of the kind that they dictate um, is is a pretty big deal and as I said you know <laughs> you know to burst Olymp uh, Olympia snow's bubble uh, this this is an art we're talking about Okay, so you don't just go ahead and vote for this because in the end when it's all done, it's all going to be good, even though nobody knows what it will be. Okay, Senator Snow, if you want to talk about art, go talk about art. But as far as I'm concerned, we're talking about the future of this country. Get it together. Hey, you go out and have yourself a nice day. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Tom Remington. We'll see you next time on Open Air.
how come you say you will when you won't? Oh, baby, do, baby, when you don't. Let me know, honey, how love feels. Here's the truth now, is love real? Honey, don't 